welcome back. This is our third video and on uh, solar comedones. And so we're going to go ahead and start extracting. Primed and prepped that skin. And we're just uh, going to clean up this area for him. Again, very receptive to extractions, which we like. Hope everyone is having a fabulous day today. I know that we are, so I hope that you are enjoying your day. Again, we really want to get underneath here and grab all of this. A lot of buildup underneath here. We're still holding up okay? We're just fine, thank you. Okay. And you could see it under. I'm hoping the camera will catch it, but you can see it underneath here, so. Clean all this up. I don't want to cause too much um, trauma on the skin, definitely, even on lighter skin tones. Um, he's a Fitzpatrick too, and so you could see that, you know, where I'm doing extractions, there's redness there. Of course, that's going to resolve uh, for him very quickly, but I'm still very conscious about making sure that we don't over extract or to put too much pressure in those areas. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to this side. And on my previous video, I talked about the fact that we're uh, continuously having him use a primer at home and that's going to help a lot. And that's something that he's going to use always. And that will keep his skin looking really good. This area is very congested. And most likely is the area that he sleeps on. Do you sleep on this side? Uh, no. No? Look at that. <laughs> so that's the area that he's mostly congested on, so. 
I get a chance to scratch that side more, though. Do you? Okay. Well, it's a lot of activity there, and so. Get your uh, topical neosporin on there, and this one's a little, it's a little bit uh, inflamed. I want to make sure. It stays clean. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stretch through here and work on these. I can actually work some more on there, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna back off, let that skin kind of recuperate. Um, I just don't wanna put so much trauma on there. And then when he comes back to us, he'll be back in a month. And um, you'll see a huge difference. And um, we'll be able to do more extractions and clean those areas out for him. hairline so I'm gonna go ahead and and get that for him too I don't know if you'll be able to catch it on camera but I want to clean that up again stretch that skin really get in here and clean 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 getting at the bottom that base of that pore. Okay, he's got some here and through his eyebrow. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this out. Okay, so let's go ahead and start working on this. You can see very congested. And so we're gonna go ahead and keep working here. You relax. Okay, so so basically what I'm doing is I'm I'm really trying to get in here and clean all those pores out. But like I said earlier, I want him to uh, keep using that wash to bring everything up to the surface.
go ahead and probe these a little more. was a little deep, so I'm going to go a little deeper. What I don't want to do is cause too much drama again on the skin. He's going to be back. And I don't want to damage his skin for one little itty bitty tiny blackhead. The wash will be soft in that and we'll get it and we'll be able to get it next time. Turn your head this way. Okay, I'm going to be cleaning this side up here real quickly for you guys and so that you can kind of see the finished result. And we'll have some before and after pictures for you to see. Again, you guys always make my day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for sharing my videos with your friends and family. And just plainly thank you for being you. And just amazing community. Look forward to seeing you next time. And um, again, look us up on Facebook and Instagram. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.